Hi, Mike from Western States Metal Roofing. Today we're going to be talking about fire rated system compared to a fire rated metal. What is the difference and what should I be looking for? This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing. With over 110 different colors and finishes to choose from, download a free color catalog today. There are four key elements to be able to make a fire rated system. Your four key elements are, and your most important one is number one, you need to have testing. You need to have testing that approves your rated material against what you're going to be using to make that system. Item number two is going to be metal. And that has to be with steel, copper, or aluminum, anything that's non-combustible. Thirdly, you need to have a slip sheet or a fire resistance sheet, which would be our Versa Shield. Your next important layer is, your fourth important layer is underlayment. We actually, in our reports, we have a 30 pound felt because that's the minimum requirement. We don't recommend using 30 pound felt. What we have, we tell people to use is shark skin uh, or a waterproof membrane underlayment. That will be your four key elements to making a fire rated uh, metal roof system. So first off, we're gonna talk about testing. What is testing? So basically we have Intertech that did our testing for us. And what they do is we make a mock-up they build up the mock-up and then they have a torch that burns the metal roof and then they get all the numbers and they figure out what is allowed and what's not allowed for that roof. Be very careful. Just because a metal manufacturer is making metal roofing does not mean that they have the testing to back up their panels. Not all metal, metal manufacturers have fire rated testing. They might tell you they have a UL 790, but that has nothing to do with the fire testing itself. UL 790 just says metal roofing is non-combustible in short terms. Um, so if you buy metal, yes, it's non-combustible UL 790, but that does not mean that it comes with a fire test. A lot of new municipals, especially in LA County and San Bernardino County, uh, to, in order to get a permit, you need to have an ESR report. ESR report is something that we did in conjunction with our fire testing, which puts it all together and lays it out for the people who are giving you uh, the building permit and l telling you exactly what it is and making sure it is. So if you're not buying from us, uh, shame on you, but please look and make sure that your metal manufacturer that you're buying from has fire testing and that way if you do go to the city uh, to get a permit or prior to it that they're not reject your job based on not having fire testing or an ESR report which is very uh, very important nowadays especially in LA County and San Bernardino and more municipals are growing and adopting that. So we talked about the first element which was testing now we're going to talk about the second element which is the type of metal or the type of roofing you choose. Metal itself is non-combustible and that's why it meets the UL 790 requirements which is a class A rated material. But metal alone as we went on does not make a class A fire system. It comes with the report, the metal, the Versa shield and then the underlayment. So we're, we're tackling the, the second item right now which is metal. So either metal, aluminum, copper, all of those qualify for a UL 790 which is a non-combustible material. That's your second most important part. Next, we're going to be on part three. Part three is uh, the Versa Shield or the fire protection layer. This accident has to be GAF Versa Shield is what we have here. Now, um, please install it per their uh, install instructions. There are several different ways to install it. There's uh, 412 and over and under 412 pitch. Uh, we'll first uh, talk about um, 412 and over, which we did the mock-up here. Uh, you want a six inch Lap, I uh, believe the instructions say a minimum of two. We went with six inch. Six inch is always better. And then if you have your sheet coming across it this way and you started a new one, you'd also want six. I like the six by six rule. Um, I believe the instructions say six by two, but more is better than, than none. And that's for a, a pitch that's 412 or greater. So we basically showed it being lapped right here. It's going to be installed by plastic tabs. It's not a sticky barrier. Here's some right here that like your regular shark skin underlayment has, which we'll go into. So it has to be installed by ta plastic tabs. Now, if you have a under um, 412 pitch, they're saying that it's a 20 inch overlap. So you're basically going to be overlapping 20 inches, a lot more material, um, but that's all on their instructions. Being that there's three systems or three types of metal that we sell, steel, aluminum, and copper. As far as steel, you're looking exactly what you need. Your steel roof, your Versa shield, your underlayment. 
If you're working with aluminum, you would need double uh, rows of uh, versus shield. So basically, rather than a single ply, you'd need two plies. So everything you'd have to double up for aluminum. As far as for copper, and this is all per our testing, as far as for copper, what you're going to need is the copper, the versus shield, a 30 pound felt, and then what we say is then put a waterproof uh, membrane. And that's basically, that's only for copper that they require that additional 30 pound felt in lieu and also have that underlayment. So there's just different steps um, and we can walk people through it and we actually have the, the fire rated system testing done for each one of those. Your next important layer is, your fourth important layer is underlayment. The Versa Shield itself is not a waterproof membrane. So if you just put this up and don't put anything on top of your plywood, you can damage your plywood and get moisture and everything um, down into your building. So you want to always avoid that. So that's why we say, one, two, three. Three being the underlayment. We recommend using shark skin underlayment. We love shark skin underlayment. Made in America, great product, 12, 12 month um, UV protection. Um, and what's important about that is if you're ever trying to dry in a roof, you could put this stuff up, dry in your roof, and not be worried about uh, the elements and rain getting into it. Uh, by just having this up because sometimes there are delays in metal, there are delays in permits, and you don't want to have an open roof or something that's going to get destroyed below by not having the proper underlayment. And that's why we love um, shark skin. They have two types of uh, underlayment that we mainly use there. There's actually three, um, but the two that we're going to address is the shark skin ultra SA, which we call the green label. And then they have a shark skin um, Ultra, which is the blue label. The difference between both is the green is uh, self-adhesive, uh, where the blue is you have to use the plastic tabs. So we always try to use this because it's a lot easier and you don't have to worry about nailing and everything to the roof. All right, now that we got everything covered with the fire rated system and what you need, make sure prior to buying um, anything or any type of roof, step one, always go down to your local uh, municipal building, uh, find out what they require, what they want. Um, it's just gonna make it a lot easier for you in the long run that you have everything laid out first and prior and go to them and get, get um, your permit rather than trying to go backwards and basically be red stamped and then go back from there. Um, always get approval first and then go from there.